Hi everybody, I'm Haley from Discourse of a Divine Diva and I wanted to make a video and touch base with you, um, talk about some things that are going on and um, first just to thank you for all of the comments and kind words and love and support and um, shared experiences the last, I don't know, couple of weeks I guess. Um, it's it means so much to me and um, I just want to tell you that I really really appreciate it and um, it's made a big difference in knowing that you guys are so uh, supportive and and I don't know it just it helps um, I actually went to the surgeon today and uh, talked a little bit with him and it actually makes me feel a lot more confident because he seemed uh, competent and he's done this type of surgery before and um, he answered all my questions and he was um, he was very calming <laughs> which helps because I'm just kind of a bundle of nerves anyway um, uh, I guess I can tell you what they're going to do and kind of the timeline um, just to kind of catch you up to date with everything that's going on um, you know it could be a lot worse <laughs> um, thyroid cancers are for the most part very treatable and um, I'm grateful that it's not something really, really horrible, but, sorry, um, but it is cancer and, and it's scary and it sucks and it's not fun, um, but, sorry, <laughs> um, but it is treatable and I'm going to be okay. <laughs> And I know I'm going to be okay, um, but it's still scary. Um, what they're going to do is uh, take out my entire thyroid. It's going to be gone from my body. <laughs> um, I have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disorder that attacks the thyroid. So it's very common for people with Hashimoto's to have nodules and um, there is a greater likelihood of people with Hashimoto's um, getting cancer. So if this didn't happen to me now, it'd probably happen to me down the road. Um, it's, it's good that I'm under 45 apparently um, because I have a much better prognosis um, than if I was a lot older. Um, so once I have surgery, which for me I hope it's sort of mid-December, um, they will uh, make a little incision right here. So I'll be wearing scarves until it looks the scar looks better. Um, so lots of scarf outfit pictures. Um, and they'll take the thyroid out. Um, I had an ultrasound this week and there's no sign of any lymph node involvement. There's no suspicious lymph nodes that may have cancer. Um, there's always the chance that there's some kind of microscopic um, cancer in some lymph nodes, but they don't see anything in the ultrasound. Um, there's no indication that there's anything outside of the nodule itself. Uh, so that's good news. That's that's really good news. Um, the uh, recovery time for the surgery is, a, is about a week. Um, so I've heard. Hopefully I'll be one of those people that is just raring to go after a few days and I feel fine. Um, that's fingers crossed. <laughs> um, and then I'll, I'll sort of recover from that and have to have um, a a whole body scan to see if there's any um, any cancer that has spread other places 
and then I will have a um, radiation treatment probably February early February um, the radiation that I will do is different from chemotherapy um, it's actually a radioactive iodine so um, I think generally it's a pill I'll go to the hospital and there'll be people in hazmat suits that will hand me this radioactive pill and I'll swallow it real quick and then I have to rush home and I will be confined to my bedroom with the adjoining bathroom um, for at least three days I have to be completely isolated from other people um, I'm hoping that I'll still be able to have my laptop and stuff so I can I can blog about it and, and all that jazz um, I'll have to wear rubber gloves when I touch things and I'll have to um, kind of cover things in plastic the entire room just to be safe I will also have to um, drink a lot of water and uh, get the radioactive stuff out of my system uh, generally it's pretty much diminished after three days um, and then I have to still be at least seven feet away from all living things um, you know generally people and my dogs for another four or five days after that so it's gonna be um, very lonely and weird and depressing but um, you know it's better than something else I guess um, so that's kind of what's ahead. I, I'm still kind of unsure about how things will be and I'm still a little unsure about the timeline although um, the surgeon today said that I'm ready for surgery whenever they can schedule me. Um, so I can, I can get it done any time that fits with the schedule of the hospital and stuff. So. I'll keep you posted about that. Um, let's see, I made notes. Um, oh, another thing that I wanted to touch on is uh, because this is a plus size fashion blog, um, primarily, that's kind of how I started, except, you know, and now it's a lot about my life and, and things that I love um, in addition to fashion. Um, I have lost weight. There's a lot of stuff I can't eat um, right now with the cancer. When I found out I had Hashimoto's, the doctor made me um, cut out all gluten uh, because gluten can sort of inflame things. Uh, so I cut that out and then when I found out I have this throat monster, which is what I call it. Um, I was told not to have, well, to cut out all sugar, grains, not to have red meat, not to have fish, um, to greatly limit salt and iodine. Uh, what else can't I have? That's pretty much everything, right? Um, I can have fruit and I can have vegetables. Um, I am always hungry constantly hungry. I just feel like nothing really nothing really fills me up. Nothing makes me feel like um, I'm nourished. So that's been really hard. I had to add some organic chicken into the mix and I have that on my salad and in soup and things like that and that's really helped give me more energy and make me feel more full. Um, so in the process of cutting all those things out to not anger the monster within, um, I've lost a bit of weight in a month and my clothes don't fit like they used to. They're getting baggy. Uh, my old navy skinny jeans do not stay up and it's really, really frustrating. My shirts are looser and I just feel kind of sloppy and it's um it's frustrating um on my blog i don't like anyone to shame anybody for their body type or size so 
it's really frustrating because I don't want people to think that. I don't know why this is making me emotional. Um, sorry. I don't want people to think that I'm losing weight because I think that, um, that you have to be thin to be okay or pretty or healthy. I don't. I think you can be healthy at any size and beautiful at any size and me losing weight doesn't change the way I feel about myself or about anybody else and um, I just want you guys to know that um, I me personally I do need to lose weight um, to be a healthier me and that's okay but I don't want anyone to feel like I'm, um, I don't know, that I'm thinking less of them for being bigger than me or skinnier than me. It doesn't matter. Um, just be the healthiest you you can be. And no matter what size I am, that message from me and from my blog is not going to change. I, um, I will always promote loving yourself no matter what. And I'll do my best to convey that to everybody. So, I just wanted you to know that, um, I don't know, I'm not losing weight because suddenly I want to be thin. Being thin doesn't matter to me. I'm not made to be thin. I'm a big person. I was born bigger. I'm, <laughs> I'm just meant to be that way. Um, but I do want to be a healthier me, and that does involve losing weight. And right now I'm losing weight because there's a lot of stuff I can't have, so this thing doesn't grow. And, um... And I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> so, uh, that being said, there may be some inadequate uh, fashion posts because my glows are just not, not fitting me the way that they have been. So, there you go. Uh, I feel better getting that off my chest. I just don't want people to think that, um, that I'm somehow changing my message or the way I feel about anyone's body size. It doesn't matter. And maybe it doesn't even matter that I've lost weight. Maybe I shouldn't even be making any kind of deal about it. Um, but I guess I feel like it's kind of a big deal to me because I'm not losing weight because I think it's aesthetically better and I don't want anyone else to feel that way I don't know did I make any sense does that make sense I didn't I didn't think this through so maybe I'm not making any sense but hopefully there was some sense and hopefully you understood what I'm saying and if you don't you can email me I I'll talk to you about it um I think, I think that's everything I was going to touch on for now. Um, like I said, I don't know what to expect. I will start um, the thyroid hormone uh, replacement pills right after surgery. I don't know how those are going to affect me. Uh, apparently it takes a little bit to get things figured out about how much I need to take and all that jazz. Uh, I, I really... I don't know exactly what to expect. Um, I could gain all my weight back. Who knows? It. Who knows? Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I might feel like crap. Um, it's all kind of up in the air, but I'll do my best to update you and let you know how it goes. So, uh, yeah. Um, I just, I want to thank you again for all of the comments and the love and the support and um, for the people who are going through or have gone through the same thing um, sharing their experiences with me <clears throat> it's been very very helpful and it makes me feel um, hopeful and a lot better about everything um, so I really appreciate that and if you know someone who has thyroid cancer and they're going through it or maybe down the line they will go through it um, you know please 
share my information with them and they can always email me if they want to and um, I'll tell them everything that I've gone through. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, I just, um, I just want to say thank you and if you have any questions or comments you can email me or, or leave a comment or whatever you wish. Uh, I will be here and I will respond to you. So uh, thank you for watching this video and thank you for reading the blog and thank you. I look forward to talking to you in the future. Bye.